Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is August 10th, 2023, and we're back on our daily Wordle. Our bonus puzzle today is Fertile. And our World Wordle Week, Later. It's been doing very well so far. Let's see. Alright, I want to go with the word teeth next. Let's find out exactly where these letters go, and if there are more than one of them. Alright. This is making me think... It could, E could go first, but I'm thinking blank, blank, vowel, T, E. And I do think I want to go with the word pious next to find out what this vowel might be. Interesting. Very interesting. I think that original assumption was wrong. I think it's going to be the word empty. Sure is. There there it goes. Empty. All right. A little bit of a tricky word there. Happy to have gotten that one in four. For sure. Ninety-two skill, forty-two luck. So, uh, later bringing it down to sixty-eight. Teeth down to nine. Teeth was a wonderful choice. A bit unlucky. Uh, seven luck on that one, bringing it down to nine, and then pious did bring it down to just the one. It did have to be empty after that. Tying Wordlebot there. Look, uh, teeth was Wordlebot's choice as well for the second guess. Um, we had the same. The same information there, except Wordlebot knew that it wasn't going at the end, so it didn't have to worry about Pius uh, looking for that other vowel. Uh, aside from the Y, Y, of course, being a vowel in this particular word. All right, let's see how that went. Empty, 2.8, 25.6, 72 .8, big jump there. 95.6, 99.1, not a big... Uh, not a big risk there. Um, yeah, I think when you first think about the most dangerous words, I think going with something like Xylil or Fuffy or something like that that has um, a odder structure is, is um, more dangerous. But I think we've found lately that stuff like ER that we just had um, kind of lends lends itself more. So empty, although it's not a really common use of where you would put those vowels or to put three consonants back to back like that, uh, not really a big risk in the end because your uh, process of elimination would cut those out fairly quickly. So in, sort of an interesting uh, new revelation there, I suppose. All right, thirdle is our next puzzle. So uh, I want to if there is a U, I just definitely want to check for a Q. So how about the word equal here? That'll get some more vowels in. And uh, how about the word guile there? What vowels don't we have? O and U. How about the word outer down here? All right, quick reminder for myself and everyone else. Purples are in the wrong word, orange are in the right word. So, uh, we need to find... There is no Q, importantly enough, okay? So, orange are in the right word. That's interesting for this I. So, an I will go there. Did I read that right? Purple are in the wrong word. Yeah, okay. So, I will go there. There is a T in this word down here. Let's try and find out where that goes. How about the word tenet? Uh, G has to move around somewhere else. Let's go... Let's go gauze here. Although we don't have an E. The E that we were given as a part of the original puzzle is the only E here, so that would not be the best use, use of our uh, Let's see, what else should we do? 
Oh, and this A is not in this puzzle at all either. Um, so let's throw that R in there. Just throw the word grump. What can this be? This this word is confusing me. Blank U, blank I E. It's going to be obvious, isn't it? I'm just sort of overlooking it. All right, I'm still not sure, so. Let's just throw something else in here and try and figure out what that might be without the I. Uh, we haven't done an S yet. How about surge? Oh, the G doesn't go in this word. We already know that there is a G that doesn't go in the word. We've done grump already. Um, let's uh, let's at least try and include... We've got the R that we've moved over here. So we've put an R in both puzzles. Yeah, I'm really not sure what to guess for this. I think I'm just going to throw Surge in there just uh, in, in the interest of time more than anything else. Um, all right, so we do have G and R in the grump word here. We do have a T in the right spot. N goes somewhere here. So N goes last. It's not going to go after the T. So we are going to look for another vowel here. How about the word taken? I think that'll lock that one in or get very close. For this R and G. So we do know that there's an N in the bottom. We don't know if there's a G here for an NG, but where would this R go? It's not going to go first, so this NG is not, not what's going to happen here. How about the word Rouge? Oh, there's no, there's no E. That's right, we already checked that. This word is really throwing me for a loop here. So where can the R go? If the R goes first, I don't see a lot of words that we could use here that would have a G in it. The only really real word that I see there is rogue. We can do an, a G here for probably an NG, but again, where would the, what would go in between the R and the U? So that means the R would go after the U. Now where does the G go here? It can't go first. This one is really throwing me for a loop. Gotta be an. There can't be an A here. We've already shown that A isn't in this puzzle. Let's 
We haven't done any Ys in e any of these. I'm wondering about like an, a double E on this one here, though. Oh no, it can't be because we already we already got a black on the E here. All right. So is this possible? Blank blank U R G. We never did account for that O. So you know what? I'm going to go with Rouge anyway. I just want to get a little more information. This is a little bit beyond what I'm able to solve at the moment. Um, and then we don't have a double E here. So I did do want to just throw two more consonants in here. Is there anything we haven't accounted for in the how about how about a T? How about the word butte? Okay, lots more information. This is much better. Okay, R O U G. And why didn't I see that option? I still don't know what that means. Why, I guess? I don't Rough. Oh, I'm thinking, you know, it's always tough when, when a letter comes in and changes the entire pronunciation, because I'm thinking rogue or rue, something like that, and then a G comes in, and that H comes in and changes the G to an F sound, so. All right, tough one there, but uh, a rough one there, I suppose I can say. It's, uh, and then might be looking at something similar here. I think we, yeah, we, we're coming back to this IE. We know an I goes there. So what does that make this? Cutie. There we are. Wow, that was a tough one. That was a very tough one. Rough cutie taken. Cutie I didn't even process because it's sort of a... Um, it is a valid word, but... Seems a bit just more colloquial than it is an actual uh, official word, but it is official. Um, so cutie didn't, didn't register there. And of course, rough uh, did not either just because of that uh, change in pronunciation. That's one of the hardest things in these uh, word puzzles is when you start to say ru or ro or row or something like that and looking for round or rouge or, and all of a sudden it's rough. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone you think enjoys these kind of games. That's all for now, and we will see you all in the next one.